Hello and welcome to a fresh new episode of Science Monitor, our weekly update on all that is happening in the field of science and technology in and around the country. I'm Ashwarya Kapoor. Let us take a look at the headlines first. Rejoicing the spirit of science and technology, nation celebrates Technology Day. Mercury Transit presents rare feast to sky watchers eyes. A tour to Ujjain Observatory where ancient science meets modern. And in our In Focus segment today, we will discuss about science and technology in India and where we stand in comparison to our global peers. And now the news in detail. Science and technology, needless to say, is the foundation of any civilization. Now, celebrating the spirit of technological advance is the National Technology Day, which the country celebrates every year on 11th of May. So, what is the significance of National Technology Day and how did the country celebrate it this year? Let us see this report. Eleventh May, nineteen ninety-eight, India carried out three successful nuclear tests at Pokhran in Rajasthan. Nicknamed as Shakti, with the nuclear test mission, India joined the league of nuclear power nations. It was also on this day that first indigenous aircraft, Hansa III, was test flown at Bangalore, and India performed successful test firing of the Trishul missile. In order to commemorate the spirit of innovation and these technological feats, 11th May is celebrated as the National Technology Day in the country. Like every year, National Technology Day was celebrated enthusiastically across the country on 11th May. This year's theme for celebration was Technology Enablers of Startup India. A major event was organized at the Vigyan Bhavan in New Delhi by the Technology Development Board to mark the occasion which was presided over by the Honorable President of India, Sri Pranab Mukherjee. Recognizing science and technology as a key element of economic development, we have always laid a strong focus on research and technology development. India is gradually inching towards becoming one of the leading countries in the field of scientific research. It is enviably placed among the top five nations in the world, particularly in the field of exploration. On this occasion, I compliment the dedicated scientists and technologists of our nation. It is their untiring efforts and missionary zeal that has paved the way for India's emergence as a technology power. Speaking on the occasion, Honorable President hailed the scientific acumen of the country's researchers and called upon youngsters to explore innovative solutions to important socio-economic challenges. While experts and amateurs watched, Mercury slowly made its transit across the sun on 9th of May. The transit of Mercury is a rare astronomical event and is of crucial importance to many studies. During the transit that lasted for seven and a half hours, Mercury appeared as a black dot traversing across the face of the Sun. Ninth May was a special day for people across the globe. For this was the day when they witnessed one of the rarest celestial events the transit of Mercury across the Sun. During the transit, Mercury passed directly between the Earth and the Sun and appeared as a small dark black circle moving in front of the Sun. Vigyan Prasar on this rare occasion made special provisions for school students to witness the transit. Enthusiastic students were shown the transit of Mercury with the help of telescope and projector and given detailed explanation of the process. 
आज आज यहाँ पे हम लोग मरखरी ट्रांसिट देखने आए थे आज हमने यहाँ हमें ये बताया गया है कि सन अर्थ और मरखरी तीनों एक लाइन में थे इसलिए हम मरखरी सन के नज़दीक देख पा रहे थे उसके ऊपर हमें एक स्पॉट दिख रहा था जो हमें प्रोजेक्टर के थ्रू दिखाया गया तो उससे हमें बहुत सारा पता चला एक्सप्लोरिंग हुई एक्सपीरियंस था बहुत अच्छा और हम चाहते हैं कि ऐसे ही हम ट्रांजिट देखते रहे प्रोजेक्टर में इसलिए दिखाया जाता है कि वो लोग सन इतना बड़ा है कि उसके और उसे हम लोग देख नहीं सकते अपने आई से और वो उसके अल्ट्रा वायलेट रेस जिसको हम लोग यू वी रेस भी बोलते हैं वो हमारे आँख को हार्म नहीं करे इसलिए हमें प्रोजेक्टर में भी दिखाया जाता है जब प्रोजेक्टर में देखा कि सन सन के नज़दीक में एक थोड़ा सा डॉग दिख रहा था वो मरकरी था और आ, हमें बहुत ज्ञान भी मिला और जब बुक्स में जब पिक्चर्स दिखते हैं तो हमें ओरिजिनल देखा अकॉर्डिंग टू इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम द ट्रांजिट स्टार्टेड अराउंड फोर फोर्टी टू पी एम इन द इवनिंग एंड लास्टेड टिल सनसेट According to experts, the next transit of Mercury will occur in 2019 and then in 2032. But the transit of 2019 will not be visible from India. The transit was entirely visible from Western Europe, Northwestern Africa, and much of the America, while Australasia, Far Eastern Asia, and Antarctica completely missed out the event. The transit that lasted seven and a half hours was also the longest transit of Mercury of the century. The last one, which was longer, occurred in May 1970, and the next is expected in May 2095. Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system and closest to the Sun, completes each orbit around the Sun every 88 days. Mercury passes between the Earth and Sun every 116 days, but as the orbit of Mercury around the Sun is tilted compared with the orbit of the Sun around the Sun, the planet normally appears to pass above the Sun. A transit takes place when the Earth, Mercury, and the Sun align during their movements and are exactly in line in three dimensions. That is, when Mercury is in between Earth and Sun. in a position astronomers call as inferior conjunction and mercury also crosses through earth's orbiting plane a transit occurs ujjain the city under the sun is known widely for its religious significance but ujjain also has great scientific importance Almost 300 year old Ujjain observatory houses some of the most sophisticated scientific equipments related to earth science. We can say that Ujjain observatory is where ancient sciences meet the modern technology. Let us take a quick tour of the observatory. The recent Kumbh Mela being hosted at Ujjain is of great religious significance and people not only from various parts of India but also abroad are pouring in to participate in the event but ujjain is also the site of an ancient heritage which connects the culture of ujjain to science the heritage which ujjain is known for is the centuries old observatory which goes by the name of yantra mahal and jantar mantar The observatory known during the ancient times for astronomical studies is a scientific center even today. According to legends, the king of Jaipur, Savai Jaisingh, was deeply interested in astronomy. In order to promote the same, he established the Ujjain Observatory in 1719. The local time measured using the sun dial located here is converted to the standard time. According to ancient Indian sciences, Ujjain was believed to be situated in the center of earth. Ujjain is the only city located directly under the sun and hence has a crucial role in the study of astronomy. The observatory houses various types of sophisticated scientific instruments like the Samrat Yantra, Nadi Vala Yantra, Bhitti Yantra, Digansh Yantra, Shanku Yantra, etc. Samrat Yantra, Nadi Vala Yantra, and Bhitti Yantra are used to measure the local time in hours and minutes, and they also provide information on the position of planets and stars. 
प्राचीन समय के पांच यंत्र यहाँ स्थित हैं जिसमें सबसे बड़ा यंत्र सम्राट घड़ी या इसको धूप घड़ी भी बोलते हैं इससे समय का मापन होता है नाड़ी वाले यंत्र के दो भाग हैं एक उत्तरी गोलार्ध और दूसरा दक्षिणी गोलार्ध इससे इस यंत्र के माध्यम से हम प्रत्यक्ष रूप से सूर्य के उत्तरी एवं दक्षिणी गोलार्ध की स्थिति को देख सकते हैं अगला यंत्र है जिसको हम भित्ती यंत्र बोलते हैं इसमें एक बहुत बड़ी दीवाल के ऊपर उत्तरी और दक्षिणी दोनों भाग पर जीरो से नब्बे अंश तक के पैमाने बने हुए हैं इसके माध्यम से हम सूर्य या किसी भी प्लेनेट्स को जो विश्वत रेखा से कितना उत्तर या कितना दक्षिण में है वो स्थिति ज्ञात करते हैं सिमिलरली अटैचिंग अतुरिया यंत्र ऑन द आर्डन पिलर फिक्स्ड टू द सर्कुलर सरफेस इन द मिडल ऑफ द गांच यंत्र गिव्स एन एस्टीमेट ऑफ डिस्टेंस एंड ट्रिगोनोमेट्रिक मेजरमेंट्स ऑफ स्टार्स एंड प्लैनेट्स गांच यंत्र के माध्यम से हम किसी भी प्लेनेट्स की उत्तर दक्षिण और पूर्व पश्चिम की स्थिति पता करते हैं इससे किसी भी ग्रह नक्षत्र की एग्जैक्ट स्थिति पता लग जाती है कि वर्तमान में उसकी स्थिति कहां पर है शंकु यंत्र में सात रेखाएं हैं इसके माध्यम से सूर्य की विश्वत रेखा कर्क रेखा मकर रेखा और बारह राशियों की जो स्थिति है वो स्थिति हम प्रत्यक्ष रूप से ज्ञात कर सकते हैं देख सकते हैं और समझ सकते हैं The Shanku Yant is located in the middle of the observatory. The seven lines drawn from the shadow of the equipment correspond to the twelve zodiacs and gives information on the duration of days of an year, including longest and shortest days and days with equal day and night. In order to understand modern astronomy, the observatory also has a model of Milky Way. Along with this, the Madhya Pradesh Science and Technology Department. has placed a huge telescope in the observatory while it is true that modern astronomy aided by computers and satellites have advanced a lot far but observatories like that in ujjain are a heritage that reminds one of our legacy of scientific knowledge and now it is time to take a short break we'll be back with more science news keep watching science monitor Welcome back after the break you're watching Science Monitor let us now have a look at some important science and technology activities happening in India and abroad in our next segment Science Express Expanding the realms of astronomy researchers have discovered 1284 more planets beyond our solar system These exoplanets were discovered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, which is on the mission of searching for habitable planets like Earth. According to experts of the newly discovered planets, nearly 550 could be rocky like Earth, while 9 planets are at the right distance from a star to support temperatures at which water could pool. The discovery brings the total number of known planets with such conditions which could permit life to 21. In a major step towards dealing with the drought, the Supreme Court of India has directed the government to prepare a national plan to deal with drought in the country. Under this, a special force will be set up to deal with the crisis apart from revising the drought management manual. do it required the central government to set up a disaster relief force that has also not been set up for the for drought and do it required the preparation of a disaster management plan for drought as well even that plan has not been made by the central government and it has directed the central government to do all these things The court also directed government to fix a time limit for declaration of drought on scientific grounds. While Taj Mahal turning black has been a major concern till now, here comes another. According to experts, Taj Mahal is being attacked by a species of pests called the Guelde Chironomus, which is emerging from the increasingly polluted Yamuna River. The pests which swarm on the marble leave behind partially digested chlorophyll and fecal matter which appears as green spots on Taj. While cleaning procedures are underway, 
Researchers suggest getting to the root of the problem and addressing pollution levels as the appropriate solution. With the aim of saving energy, a group of students from Sriram College of Engineering, Bengaluru, have designed a novel solar car that can run without batteries or electricity. The uh, kind of awareness we need is to show that through the help of sun energy, we can run our vehicle. It's in a renewable sources. So non-renewable sources is getting exhausted. So we need to show that due to the sun power, we can run the vehicle. And uh, right now at the current stage, the non-renewable sources costs are high. It's getting day by day high. So by using this kind of solar cell, we can prevent uh, the solar car runs completely on solar energy using electric and solar panels to charge the battery. The innovative car is expected to cut down the use of fossil fuels and bring down pollution. Space, biotechnology, IT, material science. India is today hailed as the world champion in many scientific disciplines. Fast emerging as a technology provider to the world, India also leads today in the terms of scientific publications and patents. As we celebrate the National Technology Day, it is time to take a stock of India's technological standing and how we compare to the global peers. Well, this will be the topic of our discussion in our next segment, In Focus. Eleventh May marks a very significant day for Indian technology. From self-sustenance in agriculture to generic drugs, from digitalization to robust space technology. Modern India has emerged as a leading global player with strong focus on science and technology. India is today amongst the topmost countries in the world in the field of scientific research and positioned as one of the top five nations in the field of space exploration. Some of the most recent additions to the accomplishments of Indian space science include the Mars Orbiter Mission, the Indian Regional Navigation System and Asia's largest optical telescope. The most recent Chandrayaan of 2008 and Mangalyaan mission celebrated as one of the 25 best inventions of 2014 reflect the scientific competence of India in space technology. A recent nature survey observes that despite its vast population and rapidly expanding economy, the India has ramped up scientific production at an impressive rate. India is today globally sixth in terms of publishing scientific research papers and this when India has only 160 scientists for a million people compared to China where the ratio is over 1000. According to Shimago, Journal and Country Rank, India ranks ninth in terms of citations with an average age index 383. The Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, one of the leading chain of national laboratories, features in the Thomson Reuters Top 50 Indian Innovator Companies and Research Organizations for the year 2015. Amongst its peers in publicly funded research organizations in the world, CSIR is a leader in terms of filing and securing patents worldwide. It is incredible how within a short frame of time since independence, India has made major advances in biotechnology leading to the green revolution, quadrupling food grain production in the country and at the same time emerged as a missile superpower with most modern nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines and INS Arihants on board nuclear reactor. Today, India is a hub of biotech parks dedicated to research and development and has attained self-sufficiency in basic needs such as vegetable, oils, fertilizers, drugs, plastics, scientific instruments, graphite carbon, molasses, glass, fuel etc. 
and today provides support to some of the largest industries of the world. According to reports, India today has over 21 nuclear reactors in operation in seven nuclear power plants, producing a total of 30,292.91 gigawatts of electricity and is working fervently towards clean and sustainable energy. India today boasts of several world-class centers for science education and today businesses in the country are investing more in R&D, encouraging entrepreneurship and innovation. We are today aggressively striding towards establishing itself as a leader in industrialization and technological development and in the future years is likely to be a world-class leader across disciplines. Well, that is all for this episode of Science Monitor. Do tell us how do you like our program. You can send your feedback and suggestions. Our email ID is news at vigyanprasar.gov.in. You can also write into us at vigyanprasar C24, Kutub Institutional Area, New Delhi 110016. Well, that is all for today, but we'll be back with fresh new stories on science and technology again next week. Till then, stay tuned to Rajasabha TV and think scientific. Bye-bye.